<laughs> the guy that Shaq calls Sugar K, Leonard. Nice, Ernie. Kawhi, first time All-Star, as announced earlier tonight here on TNT. Sounds better when you say it, Ernie. Got 11, your idea. 51-39, Spurs with the lead over the Suns, not unexpectedly. San Antonio trying to go 37 and six on the year. American Express halftime report, Ernie Johnson. That's Shaq, that's Kenny, that's Chuck. You know what I can't wait for, Chuck? My birthday? No, but Monday night. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Cannot wait to watch San Antonio play Golden State Ooh, at Oracle. Man. Well, first of all, on NBA TV. Yeah, do you know uh, the Warriors probably have the best home court advantage in the NBA? And I think what this game is going to really be is a filling out process for the Spurs because they haven't played these guys. So I, to me, the first game is going to be exciting. It's going to be great for the NBA, but. Then after, when these teams eventually play down the line, you're going to be see some great strategy. Pop is going to rest Kawhi, Parker, Ginobili, <laughs> and Duncan. Exactly. <laughs> no, he's resting the old guys. They'll be good to go by Monday. Yeah, Parker sitting out tonight with a sore right hip and Duncan getting rest tonight. Uh, you got your eye on what, Don? On LaMarcus Aldridge and David West? Yeah, I want to talk about guys that used to be go-to guys, but they're not go-to guys, but you can still go to them at any time. You know, David West, LaMarcus Aldridge. David West, this was his shot for many years right there. Reminded me of a, of a guy who used to play with Horace Grant. This 15-footer right here. David, in Indiana, that was his shot. He got to shoot all the time. Right here, LaMarcus Aldridge is used to touching the ball every time down the floor when he was at Portland. Doesn't get it much, but right here, you can go to him anytime he finishes. And right here, these guys are playing together. Right here, high, low, boom, bam. That Spurs system always moved the ball, guy wide open. You can still go to these guys anytime, Ernie. And in the postseason, this will definitely help them out a lot. It is a 51-39 game at the half. What are your pictures time? Well, you know, actually, you know my rule about blowouts. You have, you have several rules. You no, know, uh, blowouts, I don't. I, don't, I never know, pay a check. I, I, <laughs> you got plenty of room. I never sit next to Charles when I got food. What sort of blowout? No, I, no, blow, no blowout. This, is, this, is, this, is a, this is a Spurs win. But I heard when Shaq earlier asked, you know, he, he wanted to get the big board put in his house. I heard it was a million dollars or more. So I have to just go and touch it. And for a million dollars, we have to go see at least the board for a million dollars, and I'll come back. But I don't have any highlights, but I'm going to touch the board over a million dollars and come back. Listen, if they paid a million for that, they're a bunch of damn idiots. <laughs> they, they definitely did. <laughs> that ain't worth a million dollars. Are you kidding What me? would you pay for that, Chuckster? $250,000 at the most. Yep. At the most. That's still yeah, a lot of money for a team. Yeah, but you said uh, it's yeah, not a million. million. Over yeah. a million. Come on, that ain't worth a million. You guys got robbed. Yeah, come on, y'all yeah, got bamboos a hoodwink, yeah. let us stray. <laughs> I bet you, you know too. who, the same person who had us in the cold the other night probably paid for that thing. As a matter of fact, Steve Fiorello, the guy laughing in our ears right now. Devin Booker's got 11 for Phoenix. You like Devin Booker's game? He had a 30-point game the other night. Uh, I do. I like Devin Booker. You know, I live in Phoenix, so it's been very frustrating watching this team play. And I think uh, this kid's got to be a good player. He's got to get a little bit. he got to get a lot stronger. He's a little light in the cage right now. <laughs> Uh, you know, he has a great skill set. He does. Know? And but that, you know, that's he, allowing him to get over. See how he great. just got knocked off on that play? He just got to get bigger and stronger. Yeah, but that's usually what happens when you stay in college for more than one year. Well, you get but bigger and stronger, you get well, an opportunity to play. I think the guys are skill-wise ready. A lot of those guys, we were talking about the Kentucky guys. Yeah, the, these but guys got to stay in school. Not physically it, ready. See, I, and I, get, I, know, I know that, the, you know, the parents are greedy, the uncles and the <laughs> agents, they're greedy. But I would love for us to work out a deal. We keep these players in college for two years. What are you chuckling about? Yeah. I came out after my third year. <laughs> you, you know, Shaq, the greatest players in NBA history all stayed in school X amount of time. I'm Kobe Bryant, oh, Kevin Garnett, yeah. oh, my bad. Yeah. No, no, you can name LeBron uh, James. Yeah, you know, you name Kevin. Those are the, I, I know. Those are exceptions. These guys ain't those guys. those guys. But you look at, in my, in, in my opinion, the five greatest players ever, Michael, Oscar, uh, Bill Russell, Kareem, and Wilt, and you, look at Mag and you look at Magic Bird, Tim Duncan. These guys act like if they, and I know, your age, first of all, your agents don't care. He just wants his percentage. But we got that. I don't want no young player coming to my, I don't think it's fair to the game, number one. Because if my team stinks, I don't want no guy who's going to be good in three or four years. I want my team to be better right away. 51-39 uh, is the halftime score. Uh, San Antonio with the lead over the Phoenix Suns. It's the American Father, Express Father. halftime report, and it continues. It wasn't good enough to leave early. In a minute. I left after three years, dude. Same you did. Welcome to the American Express halftime report, brought to you by the Premier Rewards Gold Card from American Express.
American Express halftime report highlights game one of our double dip. Clippers and the Cavs at the queue. Look at this pass. Wow. That's a beauty. Le you do that, Chuck? LeBron from I Kevin Love. I don't think I can. Yeah, me either. I don't think I can. How'd you do that, Kenny? Well, he and Wes Unsell are the only guys I've ever seen. You know, he's named after Wes Unsell. Oh, really? He is. Kevin Love? Yes. Yeah, Unsell. His, his, his... <laughs> <laughs> How was he named after Wes Unsell? Because his dad played with Wes Unsell. But his name is Kevin Love. Love. His middle name. Okay. Is West? Right. Yeah, West? Okay, all right. All right. We didn't know that. Like, we were trying to figure out where you were going. You got there. It took a uh, long time. West. When are we not trying to figure that out? <laughs> 115 to 102 was the final. You saw the highlights. Charles Barkley, he named after Muhammad Ali, right? The greatest ever. I love you, Ali. <laughs> There's nothing in your name that says it, though. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can. I know I can. Really? Hey, I'm going to tell you. .com. Shaq, Shaq is trying to uh, recreate the West Unsell. He can't offer. do it. I told you he couldn't do it. Can't, cannot do it. He oh, got I, farther than I thought he was going to no, get. No. Chuck, Chuck, he used to, Wes Unsell used to hit the other backboard. He used to yeah. jump up in the air and hit the other backboard. You what can't hit the other back. You, you can't hey. catch it. <laughs> Dude, I can throw it from here. <laughs> throw it off and hit the other backboard. Here we go. One more try. Here he goes. You've been watching the American Express Halftime Report, brought to you by the Premier Rewards Gold Card from American Express.